is of course going to be delayed, uh, it would appear. Uh, but not only that, uh, it is going straight to VOD, which is a very mm -hmm. interesting proposition. Um, did you, and I asked Lorraine this, you know, when we talked about Bill and Ted, did you at all watch uh, Bill and Ted? Uh, the originals? The, the yeah, two? yeah, the excellent adventure. Yeah, when I was like six and living in Germany and watched it in German. Like, <laughs> I mean, that's fine. But, There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> so, well, it, it, imagine a David Hasselhoff, you know, voiceover for, you know, Keanu at that time. Yeah, Ooh. very exciting things. <laughs> like, no, I mean, I, I did. I, I've, I've caught bits and pieces of it here and there, like over the years. Um, mm -hmm. Never actually sat through it. Like, I'll watch any other Keanu movie. Like, uh, I mean, it's, it's basically Keanu... And then Neo in everything. So like Neo on a bus, you know, <laughs> Neo killing demons. Like that, that's basically what I see with him. Yeah. But I still enjoy all his movies. So, I mean, would I, would I enjoy this? By the trailer, it looks like it could have a couple of laughs here and there. Will it be a movie that you can watch, you know, as a cult classic now? I, I don't, I don't think it has a chance for that at all. I don't know, dude. Uh, you can never, you never really know when you have a cult classic on your hands, right? Like you, you don't know until you know. Is is sort of how the the saying goes, right? Uh, and so, you know, this 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 movie, I I look at this movie exactly how I looked at the the previous two, which is ordinarily, yeah, I'd say this is not anything interesting, and you know, I'll, I'll catch this on fucking. Uh, TBS whenever it, it, it makes it to there. But, <laughs> it will go to TBS. Uh, <laughs> it, it will most certainly go to TBS at some point in time. Um, you know, but, you know, there is something like charming about, you know, the, the, the movie to, to, to some degree that, you know, even if, you know, the, the plot looks stupid, the characters are kind of hollow, uh, the, the jokes are stale, but there's just some sort of little magic there that that happens. And you're like, I right, fuck it. Why not? I'm not doing anything else right now. And especially <laughs> with the fact that it's going straight to uh, to, to VOD uh, is, I think, something that this exact movie would need. Now, it's we're getting into very interesting territory. Like you see it sort of creeping up, right? That first it was, uh, you know, first it was Trolls, right? Trolls World Tour, or whatever the fuck yeah. that movie was called, um, and then it was uh, the movie I, I believe Artemis Fowl for I think Disney um, mm -hmm. that got released on on VOD uh, that was supposed to go to theaters but got released on VOD, and now we get something like Bill and Ted, right? And I'm sure there's some movies there that I'm missing in between, but for my argument's sake, uh, now we get Bill and Ted. Uh, going to VOD, which isn't like the type of movie. This isn't the type of movie that people are like, I'm sure clamoring. Oh my God, I have to see this in theaters. You know, this isn't fucking like Tenet, right? Uh, right. So, you know, there's not, I'm sure there's, there's not, you know, uh, nobody's really that upset that they're not going to be able to see this in theaters. Um, besides maybe the, the people who are releasing the movie because they do want those returns because they definitely spent money but on this But you know, movie. like you said, it might be actually a good strategy for them because this really is... The type of movie where like the other two it's like oh if it's on i'll watch it yeah. if i'm sitting down and it's on i'll watch it you yeah. know this might be a good strategy for them just because of the environment that we're in right now where people have to be home so this might actually work for them you know and and with keanu like i, I don't know what what is that one uh he, he played himself in that one netflix movie um Randall Park uh, wrote it. Uh, yeah, it was uh, Ali Wong was in it. Um, yeah. Fuck, I can't remember the name right now, but I, I can look it up. While Always I'm be my mate. There you go. Yeah, like, you know, you see him come out with these, you know, just... He's not a comedic genius by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, the <laughs> fact that you even said that sentence is amazing. Uh, I don't think no, anybody's but like, going to... But it seems like, it seems like in his older age, like... He's just embracing Keanu. Like, he's just Keanu. Like, But that's this... just it. He's he's literally his entire career. He's embraced just being Keanu. He's made an entire career of just doing the same character but, over but, and but over. See, but see, here's the thing. In the 90s, that worked. Because in the 90s, that's all he had to do. Those mm -hmm. were 90s movies. Actually, like, did he, like, you could have replaced him 
with a plant and speed. And <laughs> you probably wouldn't have seen a difference, but that That's worked in the 90s. That's no, no, it's, some it's of those, true, man. Some of those glares that he was giving. Oh, oh. yeah, those glares. And uh, yeah, what Whoa. would you do? What would you do? <laughs> <laughs> like, Come on. Come on. Who else can do that? But, but my point is like, but my point is like in the 90s, he could do that. And then like in, in, in kind of like 2000, between 2000, 2010, like each role that he played, because he played Keanu, didn't work for him. It just, it didn't come off right. Like when he played Constantine, like, well, I mean, Constantine one was supposed to be blonde, not, you know, whatever Keanu was in that movie, but uh, it just didn't work. Now it seems like. You don't think Constantine worked? Constantine was okay. I, I had some issues with it that had nothing to do with the actual script or acting or anything. It was more on the technical side mm. um, on the production. But no, I mean, uh, Constantine could have been a lot better. But my point is now in his older age, like that Keanu, because we know that's just who he's going to play, mm -hmm. I think it'll work for him. Mm. You know, it, it worked and always be my maybe. Like that was, that was a highlight of the movie for me. And of course, yeah. getting a Randall Park song about punching him. <laughs> well, you know, to, which to I might of... be the only person who actually downloaded on iTunes and paid for. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you, you can go ahead and uh, you know you send him a send him a tweet or something like that to to let him know that. that oh, he's getting this whole video right now, man. <laughs> uh, so shout out Randall Park. Um, but to to kind of bring it back to the conversation about you know, releasing Bill and Ted on VOD. Um, uh, and, and they're, you know, by the way, they, they are also releasing the film um, uh, on uh, in select theaters. Uh, so it's not like they're not having any theatrical mm -hmm. run. They are. They're kind of kind of doing a split here. Um, and so uh, and so they're doing all this um, uh, as of September 1st is, is when all of this should uh, eventually sort of go down. Um, but uh, but yeah, to, to, to put a button on this conversation. Um, I, I genuinely do think that we're like, we just need that one big movie to like push this whole thing over the ledge of, you know, uh, this whole conversation about VOD we're, we're it's like already like a foregone conclusion that this is going to be our basic, basically our, our more or less the immediate near future. future. Yeah. yeah. And it's not even near anymore. I think it's like now, yeah, you know, we're, now. we're here, you know, um, you know, especially with AMC, uh, like I said, signing this, uh, this deal. And again, I don't know the, the details about it. Uh, but, um, but for what it looked like, it, it looks like they're going to speed up that, that window for when they do, uh, uh, you know, make these movies available for, for rentals and things like that. Um, after it's released in theaters that uh, you're talking about a window of about 17 days when it's, you know, it's going to have a theatrical run and then they're going to make the movie available. So, we're there, like we're, we're, we're there. And, and now it's just about some, 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 some of the bigger dominoes to fall. Like, I'm still curious what they're going to do with Mulan. Um, but we can, we can kind of talk about those things in, in, in the next segment. But, uh, but yeah, uh, I definitely won't be going to go see Bill and Ted in theaters. Uh, so I will definitely be checking that on, on uh, video on demand. Uh, Same. Or maybe I will. I don't know. It it depends on how what the what mood strikes me at that exact moment in time. Dude, if, if I, you I catch the Rona because you went to go see Bill and Ted in theaters, <laughs> I, well, could I, you, I I may quit working for this podcast, <laughs> dude. Uh, could you could you imagine like avoiding Rona this entire time? You know, you've been careful and cautious, and you're like, man, fuck. I gotta. I, I really want to go to the movies. You know, this is kind of one of the bigger movies to come out fuck it let me just pull the trigger let me just go to this theater and, and watch this movie and then you get the rona and it was for bill and ted three i mean oh, like man i had to get go worse. see alex winter like i had to <laughs> <laughs> hey look shit man um you know if you're a fan of uh the lost boys you know you, you're yeah. like yo fuck it let's do it let's pull the trigger on that <laughs> i, I want to be taken back to memory lane uh by, by watching an alex winter movie oh um, man I, I'm but, putting that uh, on your tombstone, man. Like if if it happens, I, then it, it it's going on your tombstone. Hey, you have my realize soon day next to Bill and Ted. <laughs> you well, you have my explicit permission. Uh, feel free. Uh, 